And now, your local weather authority forecast. It's a very cloudy and very mild morning across the basin. This is a live look at the tall city on your Tuesday morning. These city lights highlighting overcast skies and not only are the city lights highlighting these clouds, also the blood moon lunar eclipse. And yeah, we don't see that full moon right now because of the overcast skies. Currently sitting at 68 in the tall city, well above normal in terms of those temperatures earlier, got to right around 63 degrees. So temperatures running as much as 10 to 15 degrees or more above normal for the morning hours. That's because we have south westerly winds aloft bring in clouds across the basin. South south easterly winds at the surface bring in more humidity. So combining those ingredients together, very mild conditions. Rain free conditions though, despite those clouds moving on through. And as those clouds move on through, we're not going to be seeing rainfall for the most part. Maybe a couple green dots in southern and eastern areas indicating maybe a couple light rain showers, but otherwise a rain free day and a mostly cloudy day. But skies clearing out a little bit in western areas, but a band of clouds still present later this afternoon in the eastern areas of the basin. Currently at 68 in the tall city, hovering right around the mid to upper 60s for your morning commute with, yeah, very cloudy conditions, rain-free conditions, so likely no weather disruptions, but it will be pretty breezy out there. Slowly warming up by noon in the low to mid 70s, mid to upper 70s by the afternoon, right around the 76 degree mark with partly to mostly cloudy skies. I think we'll reach 77 degrees today in the tall city as much as about 7 degrees above normal average high 70. So yeah, certainly not quite feeling like November here in the basin. A little bit clearer skies later this evening in the mid to upper 60s, but those temperatures won't be dropping too much more after this evening. Now tracking those temperatures again, the mid to upper 60s right now in Midland and Odessa, even as we head to Lubbock, upper 50s in Amarillo. It's actually sitting at 61 right now in Alpine, not 53. So initial conditions on this model slightly off. But I think this model accurately predicts those temperatures this afternoon. For the most part, a surge of warm air extending from Alpine all the way toward the Panhandle. These oranges in the Transpecus indicate temperatures potentially in the low to mid 80s. Again, very close to the mid to upper 70s in the Midland and Odessa area. Cooling off this evening in the mid to upper 60s for most areas, but those temperatures will not budge too much more. Even warmer the farther east you go in the eastern part of Texas. Overnight lows once again pretty mild in the 60s, mostly cloudy skies. Those winds at the south southeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. And we're going to be seeing those winds pretty strong at times throughout the day today even as we head to the overnight hours as well. Tracking those winds currently sustained from 15 to 20, gusting close to 30 miles per hour as we head to the later morning hours from the south southeast. After, let's say, 11, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, those winds begin to diminish in intensity just a little bit, but still pretty breezy for this time of year. Once again, winds picking up, though, as we head into tomorrow morning from the south, southeast, bringing in not only above normal temperatures, but pretty humid conditions, even as we head into tomorrow at 78 degrees, pretty mild, pretty humid for this time of year, and that's here to stay for the basin today and tomorrow. A little bit cooler on Thursday, a little bit less humid, and a big cool down Friday and by the weekend.